But you're so foolish. You were so foolish walking into the pit thinking that I was just going to sit back and take your crap one more time, man. What do you think you are? You ain't nothing special to me, man. You're a piece of flesh. When I step into the ring, I look at that man across the ring from me. I say, well, now, that's my dinner. Hmm. That's my meal. That's my meal ticket, you see. But what I've been living on just don't fill me up, Hulk Hogan. So I got to have a little bit more. I got to...
feels like this, like this. Like I didn't even know I could skip the on a roll like this, like this. Like I didn't even know I could talk to the dead like this, like this, like this. Fuck it up. I kinda used you. I kinda used you too. I wanted to go out so badly, I'd, I'd have said yes to anybody. I had a lot of time to think in South Dakota, all right? And you know what I realized? I'm burned out. Cause it's 
just bad for your teeth. Hold up, in the Honda Civic with a hatchet in my sheath. Hold up, skinny ass Gary Paulson reading motherfucker from the bottom left corner of the state of South Dakota. Ah. Red rubber, red rubber, goddamn. God Send me over till we never seen again. Put the garbage in a fucking trash can. Up and down like a garbage man. Try my best like kids, spray tan in the middle of the wintertime high school dance. I know they give no chance, goddamn, cause this was South Dakota sound like, yeah. When it's done by me, this was South Dakota sound like, yeah. In the middle of the street, this was With a hatchet in my sheath Hold up, 96 Civic And you know that shit is green Overflowing all the seats We blow the speakers till they squeak Ay. You got the pool in the bag I got a pot of snow You got a city to map I'm a mirage of the roads You got the people to see I got the people to know You get the internet fast I got the internet slow But I never let DSL keep me from teaching myself All the skills that I wanted to know I dropped out of school when I realized that college amounted to me being another bro I'm fucking it up. How the fuck do I know when I'm fucking this up? Me, five, four, and four. All that is was at the court. Take you home with me. Okay. All right. Let me just, uh, But, uh, yeah, sorry, I'm just responding to a message there. Let's go, really. Yep, that's that's the, what we're looking at here. We're looking at some Mario. No, not really. Um, those that far off. Uh, let's see. Let me switch over to my just shit and screen. No, I can close the music thing now. Uh, let's see. All right, so let's bring me up here. Oh no, 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 no! Oh, oh! What did I do? What did I do? Oh, there we go. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, another stream for tonight. Uh, thank you, everybody who came out to the earlier stream that I did with uh, uh, Dr. Luxia. If you are not following her, check her out. We did some Resident Evil 2. I was there uh, as the as a nurse. So for those of you who don't know, um, uh, well, Zero works full time. Well, her main job is being a soldier for the SDC Alliance. Uh, she has a side job being a nurse at uh, Dr. Alexia's uh, laboratory. So. It was my, so today's shift was me helping her with Resident Evil 2 Remake. So if you missed that stream, that's okay. It will be up on YouTube eventually. You can find my YouTube channel here. That's coming. Uh, also, I have added a new dono goal. Um, I'm looking into getting Elite Motion. Uh, unfortunately, because I have to move, I can't afford to purchase one right now. So I put up a dono goal for one. 
no obligations of course this is just uh if like if this gets met i can get one sooner than than later essentially because i'm going to be strapped for cash for the next little bit but uh again no obligation i'm just putting that there uh in case people want to know what the next piece of equipment that i'm going to be getting so that's the next piece of equipment i'm looking to upgrade in my setup um because uh the last the last uh twitch pay i got was for emotes and it was for other pieces of promotional art um and the next one's going to be for my leap motion but i don't know when i'm getting paid my next uh twitch payout so i thought i just put the goal up there and when i get my twitch payout i'll put the money that i get from it added into the goal and that will be for our next budget that's our next budgeted thing that we're going to do um and that's basically what we're going to do there so um Again, no obligations. I'm just putting it up there to show you guys what's next on the uh, on the docket for that. So let me show you guys. I'm going to hop into... Actually, you know what? Before I hop into the voice chat with my peeps, let me just open uh, the game up. So give me a second here. Switch over to my stream window. Uh, and full disclosure, I was given a copy of the game by the developer. Actually, it's funny enough. Uh, the developer sent me this game. Uh, because I had, okay, so there was recently somebody from, uh, Stadia, or not too long ago, they made a tweet about how, like, uh, you know, if streamers don't want to fear getting DMCAs for playing games, then maybe they should ask for licenses from the, from the, you know, from the, uh, from the publishers like everyone else does, and I'm less like, bro, streaming is literally free advertisement for your game, <laughs> like, People buy games based on streaming. And I've asked people. There was multiple polls that went out that were like, please put a poll that if you purchased a game based on somebody streaming it. And like the response was like 80 to 85% of people who voted on these polls said they bought they bought games based on streamers. Ah, Ka Ka Kali Kyle Key Landros. Did I get that right? Key Landros, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. I hope I spelled that right. Um... I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yes, but Lunky actually looks fun. I have it, but I haven't played it, but because it looks hard. <laughs> but yeah, no, there's a. So I put a tweet out saying, you know, maybe instead of you know, and I, I just a snarky remark to that thing. Be like, you know, maybe game devs out there who are upset that people are streaming their games without paying for a license should pay this. Should also in turn pay the streamers for advertising their game for free because we don't charge an advertisement fee we're just doing it because we like it so and then i have followed that up by saying i of course i'm not talking about all devs i've worked with devs before which i have uh, who have been nothing but super wonderful to work with and enjoy having streamers play their games for them but i'm and i'm pure and i was like i'm purely talking about the devs who who can afford it like the devs who are like who are like could afford to pay streamers to play their games, but they don't. They just let them play their games, and then it's the it's a whole mess. It was it was it was a Stadia representative trying to represent the entire game dev community, and it was poorly mishandled. So after I made that tweet, a bunch of game devs came to me and were like, "Hey, can you play my game? <laughs> like, we'll we'll give you review copies of the game." And this is one that I was given from that, and I'm, I want to say, "Hey, I just by the way, I didn't like. I love your games." I've wanted to work something out with you, but I just haven't had an opportunity to. And I hope you don't feel like, you know, upset about what I said. And they're like, no, 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 we want, I want you to play my game. And I'm like, okay, cool. So this is one of the games that I'm going to be playing tonight. Um, it is a brand new Sega Genesis game. Uh, br like brand, brand new for the Sega Genesis. I'm going to join into a voice chat with my peeps. But before I do that, I want to show you guys at least the intro of the game. Also, let me turn on the 16-bit winner logo there. Uh, so let me just go ahead and show you guys this here. Um, bear with me for just a second. I've had to do a bit of a scuff setup for this because a lot of my my consoles and stuff are packed away. So I am playing this on an emulator, but I was given a review digital copy to play on emulator from the developer. So that's what we're going to do. Anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and launch this up. So I apologize again. If this is a little scuffed. It's just the way it's going to be. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's see. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and load the game up. Oh, and I want to make sure this is not muted. It's not muted. Okay, good.
So this is Dev Will 2. I understand there are a couple Dev Will games, but I've actually been looking at this game for a while. Um, and I'll let the demo play for a second uh, as I'm still setting some stuff up. It's kind of like a platformer style game. And uh, yeah, this is a Sega Genesis game. So you can, yes, it does play on real hardware. You can actually purchase, uh, you can purchase a copy of, a digital copy of the game on itch.io uh, and it will work on all the major uh, flash carts uh, for Sega Genesis. You can also buy an official cartridge of it from the developer directly. Um, I can... Uh, I'll have to grab a link to where it can be purchased from digitally. I don't have a link to where you can purchase it physically but I think it links back to it. Um, but I'll show you guys real quick uh, I think I still have that Twitter post open. Uh, let's see. Yeah, here it is. So, uh, there also is the first game, Dev Will, but I decided I wanted to play Dev Will 2 for this. So, can it not let, will it not let me copy a link? Do I have to open my browser for this? Yeah, it's only going to let me open my browser. Okay. But if you do a quick Google search for DevWill, you'll find it. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me just search it real quick. It's got that Genesis boop. It's booping. Okay. Yeah, Mega Cat Studios is the name of the of the company. They're the ones that sent it to me. And actually, if you go... This will link to where you can get a physical copy of it. Um, it comes with in a case and everything, so if you knew. Also, hi, mystical, well, Snow Fox. Thanks for stopping by. Um, uh, but again, you can get this digitally. The uh, to play on emulator, it's allowed to be played on emulator uh, to get digitally, and also um, if you want to put it on your own flash cart. So that's where you can get it. It's from Mega Cat Studios. So I want to give a huge shout out to Mega Cat Studios for hooking me up with a copy of this game. Uh, I'm going to hop into the voice chat, and we're going to get started on this. Thank you for hosting, by the way. Uh, do you mind if I just call you Snow Fox? I hope that's okay. Um, but yeah. I'm going to hop into the voice chat, and we're going to play some of this. Uh, let's see. I don't know if anybody else is going to hop in, but we're just going to hop into the voice chat, and if somebody joins me, sweet. All right, boop, <laughs> basically, yeah. All right, uh, I just wanted to do also like, we called, I've been called Snow Fox. Oh, is that what you prefer? Is that, is that not what it, is it not Snow Fox or is it something else? Mystic AI, Vols. is it not Snow Fox? <laughs> Am I saying it wrong? I apologize. Uh, but anyways. Let's just start this thing up. Game. On the plane of intelligence, I can therefore say that this this is that the absurd is not only nor in the world, but in the presence altogether. Here is Albert, the myth of S Sisyphus. Uh, for the for a second I thought it was a syphilis. <laughs> Homunculus. Well, it's got a little comic book intro. That's kind of neat. The Awakening. All right. I felt just like playing something a little more chill, something like retro. I figured this would be fun. Oh, pfft. I died already. That was good. So I think this is either an adventure platformer or a Metroidvania. I'm doing terrible. <laughs> There's something about the stop in this. I think it's different. Okay, so you can jump on this.
So this game doesn't really have any parallax scrolling or anything, but that's fine. Okay, so if there's white in this in the radiant, you can jump down. By the way, is the game audio okay? It's not too loud for you guys. Cause it's it's pretty loud for me. I find it's my nice but I'm super happy with stuff. Okay, stealth box is cool. Got it. That's what we're gonna go with then. If that's cool with you. I think I just died already. Sorry. Try again. All right. Let's start over. Let's do a new game. Cause that was uh that was pretty pathetic. I'd like to shorten Twitch names, by the way, because I want to make it easier to read stuff. Also, hi, Eli. Eli? Eli, if you're talking, I can't hear you. It's okay, but if you want to turn the volume down, you can't. Is it a little loud? I might actually turn it down a bit because it is loud for me. Um, let's see. Okay, Eli left, so let's turn this down a little bit. Let's turn it down to about there, yeah. Okay. See how that does. Okay. <clears throat> oh, 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 what the hell? I scrolled and... Oh, my jump got stiff. Okay, that's weird. I'm just going to die again. I don't know how many... Oh, I guess I have... Is it okay now, or is it still too loud? Because it seems to be almost perfect for me right now. It's okay? Alright, gotcha. Something must be happening here. Maybe there's something going on with this controller. I'm just going to die again and do this again. I don't know what that is. Something's weird going on. Testing. Can you hear me now? Yep, I can hear you now, Eli. Alright, good. Now let me open up the stream so I can see this new Genesis doohickey. Uh, very, uh... What? <laughs> kind of reminds me of, like, you know, like a modern, I guess, retro game. Yeah. It kind of does, too. For me. Well, well it is one, but... Well, yeah, but you, I know what you mean. Yeah. This uh, is running I... on actual hardware, or you're, um, uh... Uh, I my Genesis is packed away, so I am playing it on emulator, but it can run on actual hardware. In fact, they uh, they sell official copies of it. So um, something is wrong. Like th there's stiffness in the controls. This happened in another game too. I don't know if it's my controller or what, but it doesn't seem to happen in other games. I don't know. Yeah, you can't expect Homebrew to get it right all the time. Let's see here. I thought I'd do something chill tonight because I know that uh, Left 4 Dead 2 has been causing me problems. And I did that stream earlier for like four hours with, uh, with Luxia, so I'm like, I'm a little tired. I have a bit of a headache, but I still wanted to stream tonight, so I was like, fuck it. Play this game. The dev actually sent this to me uh, about a month ago, and I said I'd play it at some point. Uh, oh my god, what is happening? Is this, like, on Steam, or...? N no, it's on itch.io. Okay, something is wrong. Hold on. Give me one second. I'm gonna unplug my controller. Hey, Broly Hater. What up? Eli, that's not my name. Give me the respect <laughs> I deserve. Hello, Zero Streams Faithful. Oh, it is I think I gotta restart. Uh, yeah, I gotta restart Jens. Okay. What's going on? 
Oh, did I, wait, what the hell? Did Unity just crash? My webcam yeah. turned off. Oh, fuck. Fucking Unity. When I went to unplug, no, Unity didn't crash. I unplugged, uh, when I went to unplug my, uh, controller. My webcam, webcam yeah. bugged out. Yeah. All right, give me a second. I gotta close VC face. There we go. Now it shows my camera again. Oops. Sorry, everybody. Just give me a second here. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Here we go. It's back. Okay. Uh. Mm. There. Okay. You don't look this game up. Uh, so it's called Dev Two, is what it's called. Okay. Uh, there is a Dev 1, but, uh, this is the latest ver game in the series. Um, this is made by Mega Cat Studios. And again, if you guys want to, if anybody's interested in it, I'll drop a link in the chat right now for anybody who wants to take a look at it. It is available both physically and digitally. Uh, the digital version will work on original hardware, or you can play it on emulator. Um... But there is a physical edition you can get for about sixty bucks that comes with a with a hard shell case, a manual, all that fun stuff. If you're for a uh, repro, that's not that bad. Yeah, that's not bad. It's it's about the price of a new game. So I mean, it is a new game, but it actually comes in like a proper Genesis case and everything, which is pretty cool. I like it when uh, game uh, studios do that. Um, but anyways, let's see. Let me open this up again. I may have to rejigger my controls. Just give me a second here. So. Oh, it's not sixty. It's 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 fifty. Oh, maybe it's sixty Canadian. Oh, that's way more worth it. I mean, if I don't have a Genesis, but if I ever get one, maybe. There we go. All right. Let me load the game again. That was a delicious ham sandwich. You had a ham I sandwich? I had spaghetti. Hmm? I thought you had spaghetti. I was going to. But it's still frozen. Yeah, if you get the cart only, uh, uh, it's actually only 40. That's not bad. How old Ooh. is the control? I know I used to degrade over time and not work for me. Does your control need to update? I know it's thing I ha I'm using an a uh, Hyperkin Xbox One controller, but um it's only like a year old. Zero, I think you're missing something. Missing what? Where's the big man? What? Where's the big man? Oh, Yoshi? Yeah. Oh I forgot. Uh give me a second here. Where is Big Yoshi? Are you? I mean, surely with the with this game being a tad bit smaller, look at all that space for Big Yoshi to just be there. Yo, is this game region locked or like you have to like? I don't think so. Hello, Moto. Hey, hey what's up, Night Man? What's up? Eh, not much. How are you? Oh, just playing some Dev Will Two on the Sega Genesis. Doom hates Broly. Why okay, let's, let's, can we first? not? Yeah, come on. Yeah, let's not. What I had a discussion in the noise cast chat about it. Oh, yeah. never mind. Yeah. I mean, Let me yeah. have my opinion. I'm yeah. not wrong. No, no, you're. I'm not. Yeah, no. I'm. I'm. I'm just. There might be a delay it. going Everyone. to my PC. You see, sometimes the jump is jank. Let's leave it at different strokes for different. Oh people. yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. What um, is this? Gar is this like a Garfield character? Who is this? Uh, yeah, he's a little demon. A homunculus character. Ah, damn it. Wait, where do you get the digital version? Uh, itch.io. They have a page on itch. Okay. I love oh, itch. Uh, your title says brand new Jess. What is going on here? Yeah, this game is called Dev Will 2. It's, what is going on? Do I have to play this with a, with a keyboard? Like, to make this Give work? Maybe. Mm. Hold on. I don't really want to play this with a keyboard, but I will if I have to. Come on, convert over. PC Master Race. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Apparently you can even get this 
off of GameStop. Ooh. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look this game up. I don't usually like playing these kind of games with a, with a keyboard, but this is not happening. It's it's not having issues. You're probably playing it with some actual Might guy. be my controller. Might be a nightmare. <laughs> Maybe. It's been fine oh, so up now, until recently. So now the Garfield look like he actually know what he do. There we go. Oh, I hate Mondays. Mondays are trash. Three bucks on uh, four bucks on itch. Yeah, not not bad. Four bucks. Well, wait, for you can fall good. through the ground and not die. Uh, uh, only if there's like a a white uh area. Garfield starts back. What? Were you? Why is there like a broken egg and duck feet? I don't know. Like this guy's smart. Not making a name your price thing because um most people who ask for that people don't buy their games. Yeah, because you like, name the price is zero. Yeah. Yeah, this is not happening now that I switched to this. There must be something going on with my controller. Which sucks, because that's my Mega Man 11 controller. But that's fine. <laughs> I'm doing terrible in this game. I am a little tired, though, because I did that stream earlier, and I'm not gonna lie, I had a bit of a headache after dinner. So... Oh. I'm not in the best state, but I wanted to play some games tonight. I figured, why the fuck not? Yeah, maybe. It, well, I, I, I'm not familiar with uh, the competent um, Genesis emulator. Uh, I'm using Gens. I'm saying, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm saying I'm not familiar with. I said, I said that, didn't I? Uh, well, normally I use Kega, but Gens has really improved in, in the years, so. I decided to use Gen give Jens a shot. Fuck. <laughs> That's fine. I'm uh, I, I seem to be doing fine with the keyboard, so I normally don't. It's like one of those. It's just like the control is precise enough to where like you need. To have more of like a like a surgeon thing. Yeah. I feel like this game was made in mind with keyboard because. But uh, like, why why is it a, why is it a Genesis game? Because they wanted to make it for the Genesis. Yeah, but like if it's made in mind with keyboard, like what's the point of like just make probably just keyboard make and controller because it's Genesis. Because yeah, somebody wanted to make. Like, why do people make NES games? Because they want to make yeah, an NES saying, game. What, what I'm saying is if if like if it's if you built it in mind with a keyboard in mind, like... Well, like, it's probably meant with both control schemes in mind. I'm just saying in terms of other, like, retro-style games that I play, um, they don't feel right on a keyboard, but this one feels okay. Hmm. I'm try continuing. But I don't think it does... I, I think I'm stuck at the same part anyway, so... Anyways, let's try this again. Um... I do like the little uh, cutscenes. Yeah, um, it's like a little comic book style. It reminds me of like other Genesis games, actually. Like, I mean, Comic Zone, obviously, but there's some other Genesis games that did like a comic book style. Oh, it damn it! Clearly reminds me of Toe Jam and Earl. Uh, don't you mean Toe Jam and Urkel? Uh, the new piece of art by Macaulay Culkin. I saw that. Uh, yeah. Did I do that? I showed that to my buddy yesterday when we were packing, and he's like, "What the?" F and we started talking about how awesome Macaulay Culkin is. Yeah, he actually got he, he actually got to play the new game. Uh, I don't know if it's out yet, but like they they flew him out to play the. Uh... Oh, they probably didn't fly him out. He probably flew himself out because he's fucking rich. Yeah. Oh, so now, uh, he's he, I, I... he was very smart with his money. Well, yes, obviously, but I'm saying someone got flown somewhere to play the the new Toad Game before it came out. Well, I'm oh, sorry, I keep saying your thing. Okay. Anyways, do what you were saying. Oh, I'm sorry, I was gonna get let Eli finish. I, I no, no, I said I was. Oh, I was gonna say, well, yeah, he had to be smart with his money because 
Didn't his parents like steal ninety percent of his money? What no, his he... his parents like put in like savings for him and shit. I thought like his dad like stole it. That's what I thought. I I mm. thought like uh, his family like stabbed him in the back and stole all his money. I can't, I can't remember. I the Joe Rogan podcast he talks about it and how like his folks like. He said his folks like saved a bunch of money for him on purpose uh, for for his future. Like, of course they, of course they took some of it too because they were their parents. But like, and so they were they were paying like they they put an investment in for like acting school and all the other stuff. But like, they purposely saved his money so that it wouldn't get blown. That's a good point. Um, yeah, a lot of child actors. Uh, just because now he's just now he's just living off his well he still does movies but like he does more lower profile movies so he, like, he's like yeah but like 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 when he does movies it's more like oh hey i'm macaulay culkin playing myself yeah and he hangs out with the red letter media guys and abg <laughs> yeah and yeah, there's and, a um craig uh recently i think like there was a clip from from craig's podcast mm -hmm. uh where like like word surfaced out that like a, like a, like like he's asking him, hey James, how was it like hanging out with Macaulay Tolkien? So my... <laughs> and he sort of just kind of talks about it. I don't exactly remember what he said. I like, said like I remember, oh. well, one thing I remember from that is uh, apparently because back when James was with Screw Attack, uh, his DVDs was through Screw Attack store, store, and apparently Chad was like said to his Craig, like, yo, you know who just bought ABGN DVDs? Uh, I could be wrong, but this is an LA address, and it says Macaulay Culkin. That's crazy. And they were like, oh, "What?" Shit. And then they I told, so it. they told James, and then he's like, "What?" <laughs> he, they're like, "Oh, I can't be the same guy. It's just got to be a guy with the same name." Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> you know what? Though that makes sense. Like, like he probably just he of... probably discovered a bunch of internet shit, and he's like, "This shit is this shit is dope." Yeah, he's yeah. the he's like around the same age as James, and like he. He, he's like you know, like he, like he, he's a sort of like the same type of humor. I love how I love how like, like I love how he, when he met James, he's like, I love your stuff. I, I, it's, this is crazy. I like, I love your, I love your. I've, I've spent a lot of time watching you. And then James is like, I grew up watching you. <laughs> <laughs> and I love how James is like, oh, does he really want to do the Home Alone thing? He's like, and and apparently, uh, Mac was all for it. He's like, no, 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 let's do it. Let's make a really sweet. Uh, AVGN episode, Home Alone AVGN episode. Let's kick John Tron in the nuts. <laughs> what? <laughs> because he did that Home Alone episode, but he didn't have a Koi Gulkin. Well, well, I don't know if, uh... I did a Home Alone episode, and I didn't have Macaulay Culkin. Yeah, what the I mean, fuck, man? I didn't know that. I haven't watched every video. <laughs> what? Would, would Mac would Mac be a get for the podcast? I don't know who that is. Macaulay Culkin. Culkin. Mac. Do we not call him Mac? That's, call him. that's what people call him. They call him Mac. Yeah, that's what James called him throughout the entire video. No, I'm still calling what? him Macaulay. Uh, every time, like but every, sure, time every time I hear Mac, I think Mac is always sunny. I think Mac and me. <laughs> I think of like a burger. It's one of my favorite scenes in any movie. From back in me, or like, or like food. I think of like because there's so many Mac foods mm. out there, like mac and cheese. The pizza mac. rolls are rolling down the street. <laughs> oh, ultimate red point. I'm actually doing a lot better now that I'm playing this on keyboard, which is weird because I usually don't work these kind of games. Hey, oh, sometimes shit. they just hit right. Oh, oh shit! Is that like a? Is he gonna blow bubbles at you? Fuck! Can I continue from there? Oh, okay, sweet. I get to continue from the second world. Okay, sweet. Does this game have a save feature, or it's it's? Uh, um... it, it just has a. I don't know if it has a back backup battery, but like it has a continue feature. It seems like so. Because it wouldn't be that hard to implement. Um... Well, it's if. If you got to think from a cartridge perspective, as long as you can afford to put batteries or hand storage. Well, yeah, in but like I think like for the price that they were like putting it out for, 
a repro cart could be like that. Like you could squeeze in a price for a for a backup battery. Possibly, yeah. They can't be that that expensive. To add. And it's not like this is like pushing the Genesis's limits or anything. Oh um, no, it, this is it very has a nice palette, but it, it's. I think it's, it's aesthetically it's, made to look this way, though. Yeah. I like the color palette. That's like. Oh yeah, I love it. It's one of the few things I do like about this. It speaks to me. I haven't had a good listen to the music yet. It's it's very Genesis-y. Bassy and and uh, flangy. I love it. Is this, is this one of these things you could throw to the Discord? Oh, sorry. Do you guys want me to share it to you? Kind of, because I do like listening to the music without having Okay, I'll to screen share it to you guys. Listen to the voices. As long as so it means y'all aren't going to mute my stream or anything. I never do. I always keep it low enough that I only hear you guys in the way, way back. All right. Is it coming through? Yeah. Oh, I like this music. It slaps like a bass. Slap bass. Please hit like and subscribe. <laughs> oh, wait, we're on Twitch. Wait, never they mind. Follow when and the VOD goes up. It's Genesis-y. Yeah, it sounds Genesis-y. That's what I meant. Okay, where's this dude? What's he doing? He's gonna put you in the sarcophagus. He's gonna put you that in was, the Rich Evans sarcophagus. That was a little too easy. Slaps harder than bass hits in Mega Man 8. Oh god. Mm. Oh god. You got it. You, I guess you got it, Ultimate Reploid. Oh shit, there's the end of the level. Okay. That was a really weird. If that was supposed to be a boss fight, that was really easy, actually. Ah, oh, yeah, we beat the level. Hell yeah. You know what? This is reminding the me of. The sign! Like, in terms of like how your movement. Is, is is going? It reminds me of like a like a like a you know an old PC game. It kind of does too, yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, you can kind of see the difference. I love uh, this. This track fucking rocks. Yeah. Oh, that was a, and that was a clever. That was some clever shit too, because I had no idea that that even broke away until I took a second look at it. Very clever game. Can I get up there? Thank you. Damn it! I don't think I can. I'm one of these guys again. Fuck. Well, that happened. That was a thing. Okay, so, yeah, I think it's just, like, sort of, like, a weird, um, end of level, not boss, but, like, guardian. Yeah, Horus, uh, the, uh, the bird from Egyptian mythology comes down to stop your little satanic demon from progressing forward, um, and destroying all of the world's religions. And these fucking belly dudes. That's both now. Oh. Uh, that one shot something at me. Ah! Damn it. You got crafty. Yeah, they're like, don't fuck around with us. We'll pull your brain out through your nose. <clears throat> yeah, it looks a lot more like a, like a crocodile than a bird. Uh, no, it looks like an Egyptian thing, and I think the Egyptians hieroglyphs behind it probably, like, add to that. I don't think there's I, I like know, I'm saying, famous. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah uh, Egyptians had had crocodiles in the Nile. Yeah, but I don't think they had a god with like a. Crocodile. But listen, the Nile is not just a river in Egypt. <laughs> uh, it's one of my favorite dumb jokes yeah. from uh, Kyoto Blue and Kyoto Jerk. Uh, I liked it in a. Uh, he literally makes in, that uh, joke. How does that translate into Japanese? <laughs> there's. There's the joke from the new guy that's the same idea. Remember the new guy? Oh, I remember the new guy. Were we gonna do like a like a early 2000s boner comedy binge? Yeah, I know. You never set up the uh, boner comedy film festival, Zero. <laughs> Maybe that could be part of like the watch what? thing. Okay, what is this guy doing? Do? He's eye dropping on an egg. You see, I put the semen on the egg. <laughs> but I wait. <laughs> Whose is it? You'll never know. 
Equinox. <laughs> All right. Actually, I'm going to put the window over here so my model is actually looking at the game screen. <gasps> oh, fuck. Oh, damn it. Why uh, yeah, didn't I jump? Start, it's starting right off shoots, shooting at you. Oh. Zero, do you remember Super <laughs> Mario Land? Yep. It looks a lot like Super Mario. <laughs> I mean, that's it gave me a Super Mario Land vibe. Semen on the egg, Equinox, you know the drill. Oh, Jesus. Friggin' Sakura, three hail hydrates. I don't even have a drink. Ah, shit, I forgot to grab a drink. Hold on. Go get a beverage. I'm gonna go get I'll, a beverage. I'll drink for you. All right, BRB and getting a drink. Uh, watch my body destroy itself. I crushed most of the water so Zero could drink another time. How's everybody doing? God damn it. Eli, drink water too. They drank like a half a bottle of seltzer like an hour ago. That doesn't, that doesn't work, Eli. You need real water. Seltzer is just water recarbonated. No, you need regular water. I, I don't know. Fine, I'll drink water. Nightman, how much H2 oxygen have you had today? Uh, had a... Actually, I didn't have any water today. Probably get on that. Yeah. That's a little scary. Yeah, always remember, if, <laughs> your, if your pee is not clear, you need to be drinking more water. Uh, yeah, I usually, uh, I'll, <clears throat> yeah, I'll probably go to Martin later, a little later, so. <laughs> okay, I'm back, guys. Sorry if you, you have to drink a fun. fucking lot of water, by the way. All right. I'm not doing all those. <laughs> You're getting three, and that's it. What, are you going to drown? Come on. Two. Three. Four. There, you got your four. <laughs> Do one more for good luck. No. <laughs> Alright, let's try this. Huh! Oh. Okay, got that guy. Oh, do I have to go up? Or do I have to go down? Zero came to Egypt's land. Let my people go. You redeemed five? I don't see five. Hold on. I see There's one, five. two, three. F oh, there is a fifth one. Oops. <clears throat> you can make. What are you trying to do to me? Keep you hydrated. Yeah. Yo, I don't know if you guys saw it, but uh, I, I streamed that VTuber prom last night. How was that? Good fun? It, it was a lot of fun. The after party was nuts. Awesome. Unfortunately, I couldn't stream the after party because there was that's it. that's when it got like all uh, a little more risque. But it was good. It was good. It was fun. We got me. I was there with me and my friends. There's lots of pictures out there. Fucking. Yukime over here was looking like a snack in her dress. It was fun. It was great. I had fun with a lot of friends. Met some new people. Met some new streamers who want to collab. So, like, probably going to be playing some games with some new peeps, too. Hell yeah. Met this one girl, uh, Kisaka. We were like, we just vibe so well. I'm like, are we the same person? <laughs> Like, everything, like, everything we had a conversation about, we were on the same vibe. And I was like, we had our stepbrothers moment where we became best friends and we wanted to do karate in the garage. <laughs> when does no, look, everybody should want to do karate in the garage. I'm sorry. No matter when you're yeah, asked. The bathroom, the the bathroom thing was funny. Oh, the bathroom thing when Maggie went, went in the bathroom and someone tried to drown themselves in the sink. <laughs> I wasn't there, I wasn't streaming that part, but I saw the clip from when she went there. And then, like, right after she left, she. <laughs> the VR chat crashed! 
Like, she tried to run away from somebody who was chasing her in the bathroom, and then her VR chat fucking crashed. Oh my god. It was funny. It was fucking hilarious. We were like... And Sable was... Uh, Maggie's date, and like, Sable's like, You guys see Maggie? I'm like, Didn't she go to the bathroom? It, 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 he's, and she's like, in VR chat? I'm like, I, I don't know, man. How does that work? If you have to pee in VR chat, do you go to the bathroom in VR chat? I think she was just taking a break then... from everybody else. Because there was a lot of people in there, so... Um, I'm gonna upload the stream VOD uh, soon here, but I have to wait until Monday at least. But I also have other VODs I need to upload, so... It's going up soon, but like, there's some good shit. Some funny shit. Glad you had a good time. It was a good bro. time. Yeah. How do, I, how do I fucking get up there? I feel like I gotta get up there. Hmm. Someone chased her into the stall and poor Mickey, you can be please help. <laughs> yeah, I saw that fucking fuck. Oh god, it was funny. The clips are, the clips are on her, uh, in her server. I'll probably drop them in here in case you guys want to see them under stream clips. Oh fuck! Oh, you jump into water. Oh, the demon. Yeah, jump on those guys. Jump on the cats. Climb the pyramid. Say hi to the Illuminati. Fuck. <laughs> Could rewatch it, yeah. Um, yeah, the VOD is on my Twitch if you guys want to rewatch it, and it's also Maggie did hers too. She was also streaming as well as uh, Grenade, they were all streaming too. Um, so if you want multiple perspectives, Maggie actually had a VR headset on, so hers is like um, pretty interesting. Whereas I was stuck at desktop mode, so basically whatever I just see and whatever I see. Oh, I went the wrong way, that's why. I literally went the wrong way after I killed that guy. There we go. Beyond good and evil. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Hey, how do I get in touch with the VTuber Illuminati? Uh, I don't, I don't know if there is a VTuber Illuminati. <laughs> Yo, VTubers, you gotta get in on that. Or you guys gotta get on that. And then I wanna speak to the Illuminati. Let's make this happen. Why specifically the VTuber Illuminati? I don't know. I feel like it's easier to speak to than the actual Illuminati. Oh, this music is weird. I like these little um, plague doctor assholes. The little turtle guys. Yeah, they're kind of a pain in the ass. <laughs> but I love them. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking I'm doing also some kind of highlight with them, too. Because um, Maggie said I could download her VOD. You can be, I'm assuming you're cool with me downloading your VOD too, in that case. Uh, oh, damn it. Did that wrong. Because uh, I, I haven't though, because I haven't asked you first, but I asked Maggie and she said it was cool. And actually, she said, my VODs are your VODs, and I'm like, you don't want to give me that much power. <laughs> <laughs> Is what I said. <laughs> I'm like, trust me, you don't. Okay, fuck. Okay, I gotta figure this shit out. Can I jump on those? I don't think I can. Try to spit no, ass. Can. Oh wait, I can. Oh okay. Got it. Okay. Oh, can you like roll or dive into them? Well, I have that dash attack. Oh. Damn it! That that uh, the pattern is just a little out of the ordinary. It's fucking with me. Okay, so they're a dual hit. Of course they are. They're the coolest characters we've seen so far. Those feel like a Doom TV character to me. I don't know what that means, but sure. Like, I look at that character, and I'm like, yeah, that sounds like something Doom would like. Or looks like uh, something Doom would like. 
I don't like these little puffy boys. I, I just know you're. I, I just think I've known you long enough now that I know your vibe. I don't think anyone. I don't think you do, but we can guess. What are you saying? What are you saying? We're not good friends? Eh, no, we're, no, we're good friends. I don't think we know each other that that well. I mean, I'm not doing a vibe check on you. Like, fuck. Zero, what's my favorite uh, Power Rangers season? You've told me, and I can't remember. I bet you I, know, I, bet you I can guess yours. Isn't it Mystic Force? No. Wait, no, which... that's DJ. Oh. Well, fuck, I guess we suck. We have to become better friends, though. <laughs> I guess we better go do karate in the garage. God yeah. damn it. Can we go play Beetleborgs in the garage Maybe instead? Be funny. I want to. I want to uh, take all three of our vods and like um, make something like some kind of highlight reel out of all of them. So. Uh, I bet you guys can't guess my favorite PR season. Uh, I'm Super Mega Force. Dino Thunder. Is it RPM? Yeah, cool. Get some beer. Not even RPM, but it is a close one. Time Force. Turbo. Uh. I will. I'll, I guess I'll say it. Uh, my my favorite is Wild Force. Oh, oh, good choice. Yeah, I know a lot of people will disagree on with me on that one because uh, it's a very divisive season, but it was great. It's good. Yeah. A lot of people give it shit for some things, and I'm like, nah, it's good. It's fine. I think Since a lot of people give it shit for some of the acting, but it's like, you can't yeah, blame the like, actors on that. They were told to act that way. Yeah. But here's also the thing too. Uh, Acting in Power Rangers is never, like, Shakespeare anyway. Yeah. So, it never had to be fantastic. A yeah. lot of the time, it wasn't even good. You just gotta have, like, a good story in writing. Yeah. Power Rangers, so. I feel like people wanted more after a while, though, you know? Mm. Like, it, like, cause it, the original idea, like, it, like, they kept the original idea, the original idea just never aged. You know? Yeah. It's like, it, you could have realistically, like, written characters a little bit better to reflect the growing audience, you know? Like, well, something that, like, something that I, I I personally don't agree with, and I know a lot of people say this, is that, for example, a lot of people don't like Ninja Steel, and if, and I'm like, out of a lot of the ones I've seen, it's not as bad as people say, but I think people like to give it crap because it's not as good as other seasons. It's not as bad as, like, fucking Turbo. It's, it's not. There are far worse it's, seasons I could think of. Is it the best? I, no. Granted, I don't like Ninja Steel either, but it's not Samurai or Mega Force levels bad. Alright, beat that guy. Hell yeah. Whatever the season was, was with the fucking owl robot was when I stopped oh, for Time Force. Oh, Time Force. Yeah, that's, what, that's like, after, like, two episodes that I said, Deja vu. I've been in this place before. I wonder what Meg's headset Meggy has. I think really, Meggy has, uh... uh I want to say Oculus, but I don't think that's what it is. I forgot to ask her. I was going to say, Time Force is a fan favorite. I'm well, surprised you don't uh, more fan I can't get yeah. into it. It just seemed too, like, I, too lame for like, me at that point. I tried to watch, like, ten episodes of it, and I found it really slow. Oh. I felt like I'd kind of outgrown, like, like, the whole vibe of it, to be honest with you. I'm sure like, I can give it a chance, well. but I don't know. Like, like, now there's a lot, there was a point in time where, like, I was watching it out of, like, nostalgia, you know, just to see what was still going on. To, to be I fair. I I grew up out of it, and then I was just like, eh, whatever, it's cool, that's still going. To be fair, I felt the same way about, uh, Lost Galaxy before I finished it, and I ended up loving Lost Galaxy. There's something about the, the quality, or, like, I don't know what it is, I don't know, quality or what, there's something about the Saban era, those four seasons they made, that, like, they just feel different. They don't slap the same as the prior ones, and like I don't know. There's some kind of like overarching like bland quality to them. Like I think part of it, like one thing that doesn't help is, and I know like Doom, you probably don't care about this, but I'm gonna say it anyways. Uh, switching from rock metal music to synth music didn't help. 
My, like, I was cut off from the from the call a little bit there. Uh, yeah, I, I missed like I missed like your entire exposition zero. You cut off. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Let me try that again. Um, and the stream heard it. We didn't hear. The stream heard it. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So one thing that uh, one thing that for me that like makes it hard to enjoy the Saban seasons is after uh, in space they switched from like metal music to synth music and it didn't really get good until wild force like and then the and then the, the background music in the lost galaxy i like lost galaxy but the background music is garbage it sounds like a guy was paid like 20 dollars to make some casio remixes that's what Who it cares it has the best theme song though but, but the theme it, song is one song if the rest it, of the music is trash it doesn't it matter it still wins off having best theme song but it but it doesn't but like it has the best theme song. I agree. It is my favorite Power Rangers theme song, but that doesn't mean it it gets to be top series because it has a good theme song, and the the music isn't shit because the theme song happens to be really good. Well, One... no, 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 no. If if we're talking, if we're talking, uh, um, just off music alone, uh, you can have best, you can have goat theme song, and not everything else, like doesn't need to measure up. Like that's balance at that point. So, the only thing we can agree is we can definitely give it a lot of points for having the best theme song. I'd but, give it points because with how good the theme song is, the, everything else can kind but of like, feel But, like, MMPR has a good theme song, and all its incidental music is good. All of it. Yeah, that's why it's like, a the only than... The only track I dislike from the MMPR era, era is Tenga Bye Bye, because they played it so much. Yeah, and that one is rated higher, probably, on the overall sound design level. We're just talking theme songs, you know, you gotta give points for how dope the theme song is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it obviously would make it play something much higher than like, hey, um, there's see, I know there's seasons where the music isn't good, like, I hated everything about Turbo. I thought the theme song sucked, I thought the music was bad. I thought everybody was bad. Turbo is that weird season. Yeah, that, you could think of Turbo uh, as a Oculus killer means Facebook before, account. Uh, yeah, I mean, I thought about it and I saw the the whole Oculus Facebook integration. I mean, I have a Facebook account. I don't know what everybody's hated for Facebook is. I've had a Facebook account forever, and I would just sign in with it. But, like, I want the um, Index, personally, because everyone says it's the best one. And for what I want to do, it seems to be really good. Like, I want to do be able to do full body tracking, not just in... VR chat, but I want to be able to do it when I stream. When so when I when I move, you guys can see my model fully move. Like kind of like how uh, Astral Astral Hex does. Because uh, even when they play uh, a console game. Uh, by the way, cheered. X5. Shidori, thank you for the thank you for the bits. Appreciate you. Um, when when they stream, uh, everything's moving, like hands, legs, like. It, sometimes you can't see anything but from like stomach up but still um, and the face tracking is better too I don't know I just uh, I want to be able to get into that now okay. but what's going on Pokemon Shidori? what's going on hope you're having a good hope you're having a good Sunday night I'm doing all right this game's pretty fun. Are you guys still uh, able to hear me? Oh yeah. yeah you. Okay, I'm just I'm making sure I didn't cut out. Fuck. I was just checking out, you know, some some things on the internet, watching um, you stream. Yeah. Let me just. I'm gonna adjust myself a little bit. Get a little comfy. You know the. Uh, I don't like my model is looking down the whole time. Is there a way that I could fix this? Hey. I wish I knew. If I put the game over here. Why is it not moving now? Well, that's weird. It won't move when I go to that screen. Yeah. 
these uh, these jumps seem a lot uh, a lot more difficult than they should be. That's called progress. Yep. Sounds about right. Oh my god, it's like a yellow version of you and he jumped to his fucking death. Yep. Oh no way, you can jump down. Is yellow guy going to be your enemy now? What? There's a yellow version. Yeah, I had to fight him. He was one of the bosses. Fuck. Well, I don't think I care for yellow, man. <laughs> Fucking yellow devil. What is this, Mega Man? Yeah, what is this? Uh, what's that other movie with the yellow bastard? Sin City? Fuck! This part's a little difficult. Okay, there we go. I don't know why, but the color palette of these little worm monsters reminds me of Sprite Cranberry. <laughs> I mean, Fucking they're red, cranberry. yellow, and they're red, yellow, and green. Is it too? Is it that close to Thanksgiving already? We're talking about Sprite Cranberry. Yeah, dude, it's on its way. Yeah, I guess it's in a couple weeks, isn't it? Yeah, LeBron James is gonna break into every American kid's house without a mask on and say, "Yo, you want some Sprite Cranberry?" <laughs> Fucking Christ! <laughs> Fuck! Uh, it's America's newest Christmas tradition. And now that LeBron James has won the championship, uh, everybody gets free sp uh, Sprite Cranberry now. Man, can you guys wait for more Barkley on Tuesday? Uh, yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait to see where it goes. It's interesting. It's been fun to play, and fun to play having you guys around. I know, we've almost, uh, we've all, it's not like we haven't been asking you now for like, I think I've asked you since like I met you, it's like, you should stream this game called Barkley Show. And I'm glad that it's finally happening. Oh, I don't think I've laughed so hard at like, uh, at a game in a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking baka. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. god. damn animal people. <laughs> god damn animal people. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my wrist is starting to hurt. Side, you be fine. You can get through this. Fuck! I don't like how you like disintegrate from the stomach. I know it's weird, isn't it? It's like a mouth opens. Got yeah, a creepy in it. Yeah, it's like the Pac-Man thing, except the mouth is your stomach. Oh god damn it! And we got this Sphinx person, and Rocky Roller. Thing. I I love the music though. Dance music is fucking rad. All this oh. satanic imagery mixed with all of this Egyptian. Is this a Yu Gi Oh prequel? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Though this does look like a Yu Gi Oh monster. The Obstinate? Well, these level names, man. They're crazy. The Obstinate Zero. I don't actually know how long this game is. I guess we're gonna find out here in a second. I doubt I can beat this in one sitting. It's probably longer than... Damn it. <laughs> it's probably longer than a couple hours, I would think. Devwell 2. Let's see. Devwell 2. And two is spelled like T O O. 
Mm -hmm. I want to go and play the first one now. Let's play in this. Is there a first one? Yep. I just decided to play the second one because it was the newest oh, game in the series. Um, there's quite a lot of levels, actually. Yeah? 15 levels. 15? Oh. I might actually yeah. get this then. Oh, nice. 15 levels, 8 bosses, 8 enemies, 4 weapons. Oh, wait, no. What the fuck is this? Is this the right thing? I don't know. I just typed in Dev Will 2 how many levels, and that's what it came up with. But it says Ultra Kill on Steam, so I don't think that's the right thing. Fuck, what? The fuck happened there? What? Ah, damn it. <laughs> My gut grazed the the wheel thing. Can't be doing that kind of thing. Ah, fuck. Gotta be the best demon boy you can be. A, a, a no death speed run. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. I can't no death any game. Uh, Mega Man X, maybe, if I try hard enough, I can no death it, but having the ability to have death makes it a lot easier. Which world do you think that uh, your character lives in? I don't know, some kind of candy, candy hell. We sure? Do, I mean, those things do look quite delicious. They do look a little, don't they? Yeah, everything looks kind of delicious. Could say it looks like a candy land. Is this canonically the prequel to Candyland? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Is that just a game theory? Oh god. Oh no, no. That's game just theory. a theory. A game theory. <laughs> I'm Matt Pat. When did Chill oh. start doing game theory? Number 15. Game <laughs> theory foot lettuce. Game I, theory I, is so trash. Would you watch a video if those two did a collab? Oh my fucking god, I would. It'd be I the would first Matt Pat video I watched in years. I, I would laugh. I would openly laugh at that. <laughs> Matt, Pat, I hope you're listening. Do a fucking video with chills. Fucking do it. It it prints money. Yeah, all you have to do is number 15. That's just a theory, whatever. Math, lettuce, whatever. Exactly. The last thing you want in your Burger King burger is FNAF lettuce. Is Luigi is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, beat that level. Right. Genesis. <laughs> Yes, I have an egg. Does when Nintendo don't. My, my egg beat against fire. Look at it pulsate. Oh it's boy, don't egg. say that. Close last me. Dusk. Ooh, this isn't the last level, is it? I fucking hope not. Well, that'd be a short game, then. I want to know what's going on with this guy and his, like, beating egg. 
Oh fuck. Oh, that's like a leap. That's not a leap of faith or anything. Boy, uh, that art though is kind of very MS Paintish. In like a nice way though. Yeah, yeah, I think it's it's just shaded color. Fuck, this song rocks. Yeah, I love that those 16-bit FM synth fucking guitars. Fuck yeah, dude. You should play uh, the Pencil Man game. Pencil Man? What? Yeah, you should play yeah. Wild Woody. I don't know what that is. You don't know about Wild Woody? No. It's a fucking Genesis game, I'm pretty sure. It's fucking awful. It's about a pencil. Hold on. No, it's a Sega CD game. That wouldn't count for 16-bit winner, would it? Yeah, it would count. I, I, I allow yeah. Retro of All Kind now. It's still kind of a 16-bit game anyway. Yes. It's not a very good game. I'm uh, assuming that's why you're telling me to play it. Of course. <laughs> well, you tell you what, when I go visit Brandon, I'll play it, because he has a Sega CD. <laughs> I'll make Brandon play it with me. I'll say, Doom told us to play this game, he'll be like, oh no. <laughs> oh. Brandon's going to hate it so much. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he will. <laughs> So you play as a pencil, and a, go and a goblin tells you to go and collect, uh, collect people out of famous paintings. He's cooking it. It's just crazy. There's my games on there, and she's fooling random stuff like that. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Sorry, I got that one wrong. Okay. Is Devwell 2 canonically the sequel to Five Nights at Freddy's 7? Find out tonight. Oh, on Game Theory. <laughs> We've run out of ideas. But that's just a theory. Oh, Game Theory. Uh, I fucking hate that I used to watch him. Don't we all? Yeah. I, I was there like, some nah, good he, videos. I was like, Fuck. no, he uses like some pretty like, some pretty smart deduction to like do this shit, and then it's like, it doesn't really matter anyway. It's just a lot. Like, a lot of times, it's all dumb speculation anyway. Yeah, and it's a bunch of nonsense. Fuck! Too. Like, I feel like at one point, he was, like, literally trying to be, like, video game Mythbusters. And that was the shit I liked. And then it just turned into, like, Hey, here's theories about FNAF. For 70 years. <laughs> Chica. Shares a name with an anime character named Chica. Was that a coincidence? I think not. Did you also know that there is a picture of Chica uh, shaking hands with Charles Manson in 1965? <laughs> but that's that that that's proof. That's that's not a theory. But I think Chica may have some had something to do with it. <laughs> We're here at the picture of uh, the grassy knolls on the day of. Uh, Kennedy's assassination. As you can see, there is a clear Goomba on on the book depository. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was uh was Bowser involved with the in the assassination of Lincoln? <laughs> <laughs> this 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 completely real image will show <laughs> that Bowser has made his way behind Lincoln in this picture. And spit a fireball. You know what's funny? What I said earlier, my my brother my brother coughs at me, and I said to him, I'm like, you know, if we pitch down your cough and put it through a filter to make it sound like it was 16 bit sound, it would sound like the sound that Bowser makes when he crashes his ass and uh, Mario 64 slash what the thwomps sound like in that game. <laughs> you know, literally, <laughs> yeah. my, the way my brother coughs sounds like that. That's hilarious. Derp. The dog Chico. There's a dog named Chica. Fuck. Uh, no. And then, as you can see here, uh, if you go back and look at the pyramids, uh, damn it. Who who is that building the, the pyramids? Chica. You will see. Well, that was actually um uh, um Freddy Fazbear. He built the pyramid. 
Oh, man. Did you know, uh, Minecraft Steve made the uh, Great Wall of China? Fuck, wait, wait, let me walk that back real quick. As you can see, uh, it is Hero Brian who made the pyramid. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I, I, I think it's funny that Minecraft I'm getting some makes... playing this with a keyboard. This is why I prefer controllers. <laughs> it's funny that Minecraft has introduced so many new people to the world of video games. Yeah. Fuck. A little damn ham headed asshole. <laughs> Poor bastard. Uh, did you Let's did you know it. that uh, Dr. Wily and Dr. Eggman uh, invented the light bulb? True story. I believe that. I I read that on Wikipedia. <laughs> I read that on WikiLeaks. Wait. Alright, just a second, I'm gonna give myself my... Uh, do some stretching on my hands, because they're... My wrists are starting to feel... Whew. I also read that in September of 2001, the space colony Ark killed the moon. Oh my god, shut up. That happened! <laughs> that game came out in September of 2001. It's a true story. Never played Minecraft? Me either, Snowfox. Well, I have, but I didn't really care for it. Everybody's tried Minecraft once. Yeah. Minecraft is boring. If you're creative, it's it's easy to, to get into, but like, it just doesn't do it for me. I never liked building anything. I just like destroying all the shit my friends made. Like in weird, clever ways. I could, uh, I could express my disappointment that Minecraft Steve made for uh, Travis, but uh, I'll save you the. Uh, there. Travis uh, is in Smash, though. You can't, you can't be mad about that. Travis is never. It, that be... is a costume. That doesn't count. Yes, it does. That count. That's the best you'll get. Yeah, that counts. If you're That's not gonna get Sans either. <laughs> Hey, yeah. how you guys doing? Hey, Tater, what's up? We're just I'm just playing Yo. some Dev Will 2 on the Sega Genesis, a brand new it's Sega Genesis game. <laughs> yeah, it's a game about <laughs> Satan yeah. trying to overthrow the Egyptians. Big fan beat on the moon. <laughs> I I got back from a weekend involving my brother's wedding. Oh, nice. Holy fuck, was I on mute the entire time? Yes. Yeah, yeah. No. I guess so. You were. Fuck. That was rough. Yeah, that... don't think you had a realistic opening to work with there. God damn it. I, I literally was asking you how you're working. <laughs> like, you just answered, and I realized that was you. <laughs> well... You're a fucking coincidence! <laughs> this is why Eli always thinks we ignore him. <laughs> well, but I, don't, I don't think you ignore me. I just, like, sometimes I'm on mute. <laughs> Well, he's married, but with the inability to travel for a honeymoon Fuck. due to real life situations. But yeah, just really yeah. Like, honeymoons ain't going my nowhere. Back. Ah, okay. They can, uh, they can always have a vacation later on. Buy a PlayStation Five. It'll be the best honeymoon ever. Oh yeah, just... good luck finding one. <laughs> yeah, that's a. There's people I mean, I work with It's got them. that Nintendo scarcity. Oh, they'll probably find a they'll probably find a place to have a honeymoon so they can get a PS5. <laughs> so like, I understand that besides mild morales, is there any like things on the PS5 out there now or or no? There's God some stuff. Uh, Dark Souls. There's Final Fantasy Demon. 16 coming sometime soon. But, uh, oh, Demon's Dark, Souls, yeah. Dark Souls came out. No, for, uh, not. Yeah, Demon Souls. Already. Yeah, sorry. Demon Souls came Demon. out already. Sorry. Demon Souls was a launch title. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know it was a launch title. So. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's neat. Jordan has a copy of it, but I don't think he has a PS5. Yeah, that that that's weird to me, but whatever. I mean, I mean like. Remember when the Switch first launched and how many people got the copy of Breath of the Wild before the actual console? Uh, I bought it for Wii U, so... Uh, you know what I, what I did before I got my Switch? 
Because uh, I was pretty positive I was going to get one for Christmas, so I just bought myself a copy. Rexar pre-ordered three houses, the deluxe edition, and then got got the game and then kind of realized he didn't have a Switch. Uh, Rexar's up, uh, a strange uh, a strange duck, but he's he's good people. He is he's he's my best friend. So yes. I, I guess that makes sense. Giving, I traded the Wii U along with my games on it, based on the speculation of they're probably just gonna port a majority, if not all, of the good games onto it anyway. Yeah. Right for the most part. Yeah. Because they it just. I just had, like, the impression that they really just wanted to bury the Wii U and forget it existed. Well, it was a failure for them, so... Yeah, but, like, it's a, it was, it's a good console. People tend to... Still sold more than the Dreamcast. Wait, well, yeah, but that doesn't take much. The Dreamcast yeah. is fucking awful. Yeah, like... You guys, like, man... Well, the Dreamcast was essentially the beta Wii U, anyway. <laughs> like, no, no, like, it was the... It was, like, the beta x Bone one. Uh, I meant, like, specifically with the VMU oh, shit. Um... Yeah. Terrible content. Fuck! Why would you guys say something so controversial? That's tough. Because so nothing Rolls felt fun Pizza to play Hutt. except for, like, okay. Knights. And I, I never owned one, but I played it over Knight, at a friend. Wasn't Knights on Knights, Saturn? Knights, yeah, I was gonna Knights say, was Knights on Saturn. Saturn. What the fuck would I play, then? I played Shenmue, I didn't like it at the time. I played fucking... I feel like I played Sonic some Adventure, weird Sonic Adventure 2. Sonic Adventure or the, or, like, Soul Calibur, Marvel vs. Capcom. Typing of the Dead. I definitely play the Soul Calibur game. Uh, Zombies Revenge, the best Dreamcast game. Uh, I gotta stream also, that one of these uh, days. Also, uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica was, used to be exclusive on that, so. Mm -hmm. Last two <laughs> Yeah, because somebody was like, hey, the Dreamcast is not great. We want to make the money. We the D-pad hurt my thumb. I don't know why. Like the GameCube. Uh, well, I don't think it was ever on the GameCube, but it did it, Yeah, no, it, Code Veronica is on the GameCube. Yeah, oh, okay. I think it is. I thought it was just on uh, PS2. PS2. But... No, it's a, it, I thought it was also on the GameCube. It's not on the GameCube. Really? What was that? I mean, I could oh, be wrong, but... I, I, was think, I was thinking of Zero. I was thinking of Resident Evil. Well, Zero was only on the GameCube until it got yeah, that's, that's PS4. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Um, Fuck. Oh shit, I almost died there. Oh yeah. Do you only have like one health, one hit of health? Yeah. <clears throat> it's one of those games. It's Genesis hard, not NES hard. Because we're Sega, bitch. Genesis does. Can't do this on Nintendo. Genesis does. Oh, so Nintendo it, it, it. still makes consoles. Ayo. Yeah. Yep. You can't do this on your Nintendo unless it's the Wii. <laughs> <laughs> Poorly aged slogans. That's why the. Uh, uh, that's why the one for the uh, for the Genesis Classic was. The 30th anniversary, not you can't do this on Nintendo. I oh, yeah, they knew. Well, yeah, because uh, it also wouldn't make much sense because there was nothing for that to compete with anyway. Because uh, the, the, well, the, well, the Super Nintendo Classic. Well, yeah, but like that, it, it was already out of production. <laughs> Fuck. It was, it, was, it was already out of production by then. So. Wait, well, I think it was like, How, was it already out of production? Yeah, I think it was by the time the Sega Genesis Mini Giga was uh, coming out. Are they still selling those? I don't think so. Uh, I'm, you, you could still get like the Sega one, but uh, the Nintendo ones, I don't think you could find. No, anymore. no, no. I meant, I meant, I meant, uh, I meant Genesis. The, the yeah, Genesis you can still get them. Oh. <sighs> yeah, can... God, this boss is hard because you got to fight him in such a small, in such close quarters. You no. Know, you know, I'd be a little surprised if you can still get the PS1 classic, though, because that one was a flop. I have two can, of them. Like, a lot of people can, like, it depends on the store. Like, definitely privately. Like, like, I mean, not like with yeah. major, not Wait, like with a game. Wait, by PS1 classic, you're talking about, like, the remake of it, or are you talking about, like, like the big gray box version, or, like, the white? No, the, the, the PlayStation the, the classic. Console that the main one, made. yeah. Uh, yeah. Because I have, because I have both the old ones. I never got the... Classic remake. At that point, you don't need. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 
I mean, it's just fighting the freaking discs, but yeah, I still have my... Slime says, Spyro. if you can't beat a game, just give up. No, I'm not giving up. Oh, yet. well, then, then you're already miles ahead of uh, the, 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 the fucking PlayStation Classic because they don't got Spyro on those games. You know, yeah, that... You know, that was a weird mistake. How do you uh, how do you well, leave because, out? Okay, Spyro, okay, the reignited trilogy just came out, so I can understand why Activision didn't want um, that to be a thing. But aside for that, there were so many fucking games that were, oh, like, that like were like weirdly like cut, like like classic um, fucking I mean, uh, Final Fantasy VII. I mean, did, uh, did, did, they, didn't, they didn't even have no, games on there, yeah, right? Yes, it was. Yeah, it was. Oh, I, I never mind. Like they didn't have, they didn't even have Gex on there, did they? Well, no, Gex was 3D. No, Gex was Gex was on. Uh... Yeah, but it was more prominently featured on the 3DO, even though yeah, it eventually became a PlayStation game. It originally was so, well, a 3DO game. It went multiplayer. Yeah. It went multiplayer. Really? Didn't know about that. I thought it was just PlayStation exclusive. Uh, no, no, it's it's. Yeah, there's there's Gex for the N64. Um. Yeah. Hey, uh, Zero. I'm gonna yeah. actually head off to bed. I gotta wake up fairly yeah. early. You sound like but, you're uh, pretty tired, so I get you. No worries, man. I just wanted to chat for a bit. Thanks for stopping by. Love you guys. Have a good night. Hey, have a good one. I mean, you got the original Persona on there, which is actually, which is, like, kind of worth it enough. Like, for, like, to sell the system. I suppose. I suppose, but, like, that, they really Americanized shit. You believe in me, Reploid? All right. I they got did, this. but like at the same time, it, it 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 it's something that like people would buy something like that for because the original Persona is, is hard to find. The original Revelations is hard to find. Yeah. I mean, in terms of like franchise games, I was kind of hoping that they would have put like the original Digimon World on there at least. Well, see, the thing That's... is, they're limited in what they can do because like if it's like a if it's yeah. like a license. Then they have to pay the license. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, like the difference between like Sega, the, the Genesis Classic, the Super Nintendo Classic, and the NES Classic. Most of their library were first party. Like most of their like real big hits happened yeah, like, first party games or second party. Yeah, I um, remember that was the main sticky point with Nintendo. It's just like if you wanted to put your like well for like the SNES, the NES and SNES days, if you wanted to get your game on Nintendo, you had to sign these straight contracts. Basically. Well, no, not just that. Like Nintendo just tend to develop a lot of the better shit in house, and uh, Sony obviously does did that also. But like most of the iconic PlayStation games that people would consider, without a doubt, you know the most iconic thing and whatever for for that for that era, Sony Fuck. doesn't own. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, because they had a lot of, uh... They had, like, they had, like extremely incredible third-party support. Uh, they, Sony like, backed a lot of games, too, in the early days. Like they Yes, they did. Yeah. But that, that means that, like, they, they don't have any first-party shit. That's why, like, that's why PlayStation All-Stars kind of felt so barren. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, they didn't have any All-Stars for their... On their own. Hey, Zero... Oh. Yeah. Play hey, the trans no. guys. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, Zero, hear anything about... Perceives, uh, Krypton... No, I don't know who that is. Um, I'm gonna admit I don't know too much about uh, VR chat. I only really hang out with my friends on there. Um, yeah, been been hitting up VR chat with like Tony and some friends of his. Yeah, I, I, I've been. Uh, I went to the because of the VTuber prom last night. I met a whole bunch of people, so gonna have a lot more people to chat with. Um, yeah, it's uh, it was an event that was being held by a this group called the VTuber uh, Committee, where they're they're doing a bunch of community events for stuff. Oh my god, what am I doing? Shit! I think uh, you're tilting. What do you mean? Uh, you never heard that expression? It's just like when, with like at once agitation sets in, it starts affecting your performance, you know, going on tilt, as it were. Well, I'm not really agitated. I'm just... Like, I don't really care if I beat this or not. I'm just... I'm still trying, though. Ah. Uh, no, I think I, I... I think I hit a, like... Like you hit uh, a button? Like, I got a, a moment of slowdown here. I have to play this on an emulator right now, because my Genesis is away, and also I was only given a digital copy of the game, so... 
Like, all my consoles are packed away right now. All of them. Well, well cause you're moving or something, Yeah, right? that, except my Switch. My Switch is the only console that's not currently packed away, but that's because it's just gonna go in its carrying case. I mean, yeah, it, it's because it's portable. Ha. <laughs> I gotta turn you up, Tater. Tater, say something. Hello. There we go, that's better. Well, like, it's because... Yeah. I, I can only really imagine you had me turned down before because my phone, for some reason, has me extra loud. Possibly, or maybe when we were watching something, I had to turn you down. I'm not sure. Mm. Speaking of, uh, how did the thing go last night? What? What? Oh, uh, what? Yeah, oh, the viewing party. Yeah, it was just me, and it was just me and um, uh, Brandon. And uh, we we watched uh, an episode of um, My Witch Academia uh, because oh, we Little Witch Academia. It. Yeah, that. <laughs> as I say, there's only My Academia that I can think of as My Hero Academia. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I, I, I confused the titles. Sue me. My Witch um, Academia. I mean, is that is that some weird crossover? Sure. I I don't know. It sounds like a fun idea. Imagine if Studio Trigger made something like My Hero Academia. God, that would be trippy. It would be. It would be. But okay, My Hero yeah, Academia watched... isn't the best looking show, but it doesn't have shit animation. No, it's just not it's not trigger levels of balls to the wall. Yeah. But like like whatever, of course Brandon was like bitching about like everything. <laughs> All that matters is uh, yeah, pretty much all the rip. I mean yeah, he's a critic. I remember he was like watching Konosuba and all he did was complain. I'm like, dude. Oh god. I I made that mistake of like, what well, if some? If but he likes fucking been... Goku though, and it's the same fucking show basically. Which is like, I'm like, you're so weird, Brandon. You have weird tastes. Yeah. You'll like one thing, and but like, something that's like it, you won't like it. It's weird. I like. It's like but... I like Brandon. He's my friend, but it's like, his taste I... is very. Yeah, he's odd. very picky. I, I love. Yeah. I love. Him. So, I love him um, like, so, so we watched one episode yeah. of. of... Of, uh, uh, of Little Witch Academia, and like it was Fuck. like okay, it was the first episode. I've never seen any of the other anything else from that show, so it's you know it's the first episode. Ready can shut up about it. <laughs> the the movie apparently I heard is better. I've watched a bit of the show, but I'm not big on the on the show. Um, and the movie's like a recap thing, like the or the OVA or whatever. It's which is like kind of like how the Grand Logon movies go. Oh, there we go. Finally beat that level. Holy shit. Uh, like, like, whatever. Like, Solstice. Alright, let's see. I yeah. may, you know, go to again. Um, but, like, the real fun is when I, like, I wanted to watch, a, like, an actual shitty show. So, like, you know, we, I, I obviously, um, in my infinite wisdom, I suggested something crappy from my childhood, which was fighting futons. Futons. <laughs> oh, Yo, fighting futons isn't that bad. But no, it's, 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 yes, it it's entertainingly no. bad, to be honest. <laughs> the dub like... is not that great, but that's the point of that show. You're supposed to it's supposed to be hilarious. Yeah. Hilariously bad. Like if you took fighting food on seriously, I'm sorry. You were taking it's the wrong show seriously. Seriously, it's just not uh, funny. Like, like in terms of like taste, Brandon's taste kinda reminds me of like another friend me and Tony knew in that in terms of like even though he won't say that he is, or that you know he won't like something because, because the I on the surface of it would make it appear that he hates something because it's mainstream, but that that, Brand, that Brandon's not a hate. hater though. He'll admit Brandon doesn't it, hate but... mainstream shit. He likes mainstream stuff. But yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's I know, very but picky. I'm saying... Is like what we're saying. Yeah, like... And by the way, this is not saying like to hate on him because this vibe is. Like I'm live right now, and this spot's gonna be going up yeah. on YouTube eventually. Like he can have whatever taste he wants. I just like to make fun of him because he hates a lot of things for no reason, for reasons that are like really dumb in my opinion. Like I don't like, like the way this character looks. Okay, uh, that's one character. Okay, but like again, the only reason I'm saying this is because I'm saying that that reminded me of a friend of ours that had yeah, similar like a tendency to criticize stuff like that and. On the surface level, again, it makes it appear like he's a hipster, because I'm sure, like, if he hangs out with someone for not too long, and, you know, again, it makes that impression. 
Yeah. Wait, wasn't that here already? I guess. I never really like got that out of him. I just assumed he's very, very just pendy and like very yeah, um, yeah, you know all that shit. Like like I, this is nothing against him and like you know it, 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 it's whatever. People have different tastes. Um, yeah. yeah. Fucking like watching I Japanese man's fighting each other. I don't know if and immediately other. posts. Oh god, what what soda? What are you doing in ghost dicks? What? Nani? Yeah, yeah, like for me, like again, I probably wouldn't think about even half of the shit that he goes on to analyze stuff that he watches, that he sees when he watches stuff. I probably wouldn't think of even half of it. So again, he's more critical of stuff. Is my main thing. And but like I don't know, but like I'm 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 a hit critical box. person. Like I'm an actual like I've been accused by like people to like just chill the fuck out and like just just watch the dumb poopy thing because it's funny and, and whatever. Like I'm I'm like I'm not like Brandon, but like you know like I I've been like accused to be like oh yeah, like my sisters have, have called me yeah Eli is like too overcritical when it comes to movies and shit. Like he like he like he doesn't like insert movie popular movie here because. Yeah, he, apparently he has a brain. <laughs> but like... <laughs> oh, you sound you sound very uh, very modest too. Apparently. I mean, hell, like uh, I, I remember Dude, while we were the, 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 the actual wait, sub I submitted the actual PogChamp emote in Ghost. What what is Ghost Dicks? You need to explain a little bit more, Soda. Uh, I don't. I, I don't think you want ghost sticks. Nobody wants ghost sticks. Not even other no, ghosts. Uh, the only thing I can think of wanting? is the uh, is an old video by Make Me Bad Thirty Five called Gay Ghost. And the gay ghost goes, "Want to see my spooky cock?" And he's like, "No, I don't want to see your spooky cock." <laughs> Christ. <laughs> it's old YouTube for you. That's the second time this week I brought up Make Me Bad Thirty Five. I talked about yeah, somebody like. Oh, actually, it would have been today, because it would have been, yeah, it would have been past midnight, because it was the uh, VTuber prom after party, I mentioned it. I was like, somebody had, like, a heart thing, and that, like, a heart emote and then in front of me, and then they ate it, and I'm like, where's my heart? Oh, no, is it time to crusade? Um, they're burning old man. God is dead, oh, boy. That's oh, a God. level name. It, it's time to crusade. Mod. But God, but God's not dead too. I don't apologize for that what? joke. What? <laughs> that was an invisible said... wall. Shit. Any? Oh, this game's dark. <laughs> I'm confused. What? Because I saw like the again the Knights Templar guys and they were just burning a man, right? Yeah. Ah, damn. What was that? <laughs> Religious sacrifice. <laughs> Can't get this Fuck. on Nintendo. <laughs> you definitely like, get this on Nintendo. I don't even think. I don't even think Sega. That level was short. The, I don't even think Sega at the time of the Genesis could get away with that one. <laughs> I mean, what, this is like an 80s, early 90s game? No, this is a new no, game. This is, yeah. Hey, this is just... A new Sega Genesis game. Like, the devs sent me a copy of this. Mm, it's pictures implying that someone is getting reverse... Acroid? What? I... I what is that word? Maybe Usually you don't want to say it. Fake coughing? What? Um... I'm even more confused now, Soda. Ah, damn it. Alright, let's see. <laughs> you guys are still here, right? Yeah. 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 So I see in your chat, but you're not speaking. Oof. 
So how consistent are like the hit and hurt boxes in this? Uh, they're they're average. They're not perfect, but I mean, this game I think is only made by a few people, so I tend to give slack if there's like like that hitbox sucked. It's only like three dollars. That's bad. That's that's a shit enemy placement right there. Uh, fuck. Dan. Oh, Ackeroid. The oh. Oh, like oh the actor. That, yeah, like the actor who tried selling those crystal skull vodka, right? <laughs> Is that the only thing you know him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Funny enough, go, Ghostbusters and that stuff. I don't know him for any of his other movies either, to be honest. Really? I've never seen. He's done some good movies. shit. I'm sure like he has. Trading Places is one of my favorite. Is my favorite Dan Aykroyd movie. Well, never saw it. It's worth a watch. I mean, him and good Eddie Murphy when he was good. I mean, that's not coming to. I saw coming to America Eddie Murphy. What? It's not coming to. Well, it's oh, like, welcome to welcome to America, right? Well, I mean, that's like not. I mean, he's not playing the same character, but yeah. Fuck. It's the same era. I mean, I don't know. To be fair, beyond that one and Doctor Doolittle, I can't remember much That's of it. That's the gap. From... That's the gap, though. That's yeah, a, yeah, the yeah. Gap. I could, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can only imagine that's a big gap. I mean. <laughs> Hey, imagine if I sat freaking between Good Morning Amer well, Welcome Welcome to America and Shrek. <laughs> Wait, who? What actors cross over? Oh, that, that that face in the bottom corner. That's Eddie from Murphy. The game. Oh that's yeah, I forgot game. he plays Donkey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I always forget he plays Donkey. <laughs> I heard that there was rumor of them doing another one after all this. So I'm just like, what? Why? Shrek 5? We don't need a Shrek 5. Nah. Shrek 5, keep it Sorry, sorry, I thought you said Brett 5, and I'm like, is that like the cousin of Brett Favre? Uh. Shrek 5, here we go again. <laughs> Shrek 5, it's about time. Yeah. <laughs> no, if they did, though. How much do you want to bet they would put in the Shrek is love, Shrek is life meme in there they, somewhere? They can't. They fucking No, can. they would... They would get in big trouble with that one. Dreamworks has were, got away with Unless like, they were completely kid. redesigning the franchise to be adult-oriented. That's the only Which way they would can get away work. with it. Yeah. Which, like, oh, no. like, a reverse they, Pee-wee's Playhouse. I mean, or they could just do what Pixar has always done and just do like a little sneaky Easter egg for those people really looking for it. Like, I don't know, some poster in the background. Oh, Shrek 5. Wait, really? Yo, what was that? That was so close. Oh, no. Oh, oh my fuck. Oh, did your fuck hurt? No, this fucking stupid... The double bird jump. Yeah. He's gotta jump off of one bird onto another bird in order to get back there and then... Get Damn it! it ah! Sorry. No, it's fine. I'm not even getting that pissed off, it's just the, 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 like, one moment, like, thing for the pattern of that is, like, it's messing with my mind, so I'm like, what the fuck? I'm only giving this game, uh, oh, damn it, uh, a little bit more time anyways, because I'm thinking of ending soon, because I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I'm really tired from this weekend. With moving all day yes, with packing for moving all day yesterday, and the VTuber prom, which I, the after party, I stayed up way too late, but... I wanted to. I wanted to hang out with some new peeps, and then of course the uh, the stream I did earlier with uh, with Dr. Alexia. Um, just I'm white. Like I'm I'm ready to I'm ready to take a break. Yeah, you're um, ready to just lay I, down and hit that big sleep. Like I literally streamed, ate, picked up my brother, ate dinner, helped uh, do the dishes and shit for dinner, got back into streaming. That's been my day today. So I, I'm like. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, 
I'm gonna do a 12 hour stream next month. How am I gonna do that? <laughs> lots of coffee. Probably lots of coffee. And also probably in between it I won't be playing... I won't play games the whole time. I'll probably be doing something at some point, like watching videos or doing something else, so... Yeah. Did you say like we were gonna like watch, like like a pub, or, like you you were gonna watch like a movie with a couple of guys from from like your uh, VTuber uh, group? No, that's I can't. I can't. How am I gonna do that? I don't know. <laughs> like I remember like you saying that like once for for like oh that's an idea for uh for like the the fucking. I remember you saying that once for for the for the what's it called stream for the twelve hour stream. My dad was basically. Unless uh, it was like a YouTube thing, but that's like it. A, I can't watch like a movie, booby. I get DMCA'd so quick. But not like on stream, like you just react to it. I mean, I, I don't those are also uh, sometimes subject to DMCA's. Really? You can't it's... just like react to a movie, not play any of the audio. Make sure the audio is not. Um. Like not going, I mean, not... are you talking about like what Oni does when he reacts to wrestling, where it's just an image up on his stream and you can't hear anything? Yeah. Oh well, why would I do that? That's kind of boring. Yeah, well, the you image. Say like oh. you could say like watch along with us or something. I mean, it's weird. Like what's what's like the react? I don't think he would do that. Like what's like the react stuff? It's. It's just so vague in terms of what you can and can't get away with. Like, it's just too risky to try. You know? I mean, that... That, like, what I'm describing is literally 100% allowed. But... Um, I can see why Zero wouldn't want to do it. I remember, like... Maybe I'm thinking of the only else. thing I would maybe do that for is if Twitch got really strict and is like, you're not allowed to react to like live streams for E3 or Summer Games Fest. I'd be like, well, I'll just won't show, play the audio or show the video. You guys, you'll just see a stream of me literally reacting to things, and that's it. Which Twitch will never get that struck because that's honestly that's how like a lot of people. Um... Like get got into like. That's how, like, Twitch kind of got me for a little while. This thing has fire moves now? What the fuck? Yep. It's a... Oh, this, there's actual boss music, too. Shit. Oh, damn. I think the music just glitched, though. Oof. That sucks. So I can't hear that sick boss music anymore. The music's glitched. Now you just hear a loud ring in your ears that'll stay there until the end of days. Maybe next time you shouldn't use gems. Well, what else am I going to use? I don't know. There's... Oh god, it's still going. It won't stop. I forgot what I, forgot what I used for, um, uh, for Genesis. Um... I know I don't use gems. I haven't played... Um... I haven't emulated Genesis for a while. <clears throat> I think that'll <laughs> that'll probably be a sign to stop. Uh, yeah. So I think I'm gonna call it a stream here because I've been going for two hours. That's usually pretty good for me. Um, let me see if I could find someone to raid. Uh, I'm gonna check my. Check and see who's live. Uh, uh Shrek Fire Fiona's live. first menstruation. Okay, that's a little too much there. <laughs> Soda. Uh, one roll. We're is we're, we're way past we're way past uh, the Shrek jokes. <laughs> Let me see here. For now, Lucy. Let's see. Okay, let's go to trans guys. Uh. Hex is live. Hex is still on that grind for affiliate. So maybe I'll uh maybe I'll go ahead and give it to Hex. Uh oh your mic is busted, eh? Oh, okay. Uh let's see. Alright. Yeah, let's uh yeah, let's do Hex. Let's read Hex. 
Um, guys, here's the raid message if you want to join in on the raid. If you're not sub to me, I will go ahead and make a raid message for those who are not subbed. There's that. Um, if you guys, uh, I don't normally, this is my seventh stream of the week. I don't normally stream this many times a week. I usually stream Tuesdays, Thursdays, or sorry, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, if you want to join my Discord server, you can join it there. Follow my social medias here. You can also see the VODs up on YouTube, usually a day or two after I stream uh, over here. And uh, yeah, that's going to be. Um, that's going to be it for tonight's stream. I'm going to put the raid message one more time in case you guys want to grab it. Uh, anything you guys want to say before we end off? Night, man. Uh, see you next time on Cheat. There we go. Okay, good. Uh, guys, I'll see you on Tuesday for Barkley Shut Up and Jam Gaiden, unless that changes. But for now, let's go raid uh, Astral Hex. Have a good night. I'm going to take a rest. See ya. Peace out. Have that big sleep. Well, small sleep. Don't go for the big sleep. I gotta work Nobody tomorrow, so I, I I have to have a I can't have a big sleep. Anyways, bye. Alright, bye.